It's the Magnolia Twins on Real Life Street Stars, keeping it moving. You know what I'm saying? Jericho Man in the building. You know how we do. Y'all like and subscribe to Think Twice Podcast, Magnolia Twins, Real Life Street Stars in the building. Muslim, we're going to be back now. Yeah, we're going to be back. We're going to be back. Word up. Everybody start clapping right now. Oh, what it do? Magnolia Twins. Jerga Man, what it is, boy? What's up? What's cool, up? Cool. Happy to be here, man. Cool. And man, we happy to have y'all in here, man. We finna get right to it, man. Y'all some real legend, real live legends from where y'all from, you know what I'm saying? Before we get all the way into it, though, we just want to get a brief background, brief synopsis of who y'all are, you know what I'm saying? But for those who don't know, if they didn't catch the name, tell them where y'all from. I'm Shadon. I'm Kareem. I'm Jericho Man. Magnolia yeah. Finest. Old Siders. Right. Magnolia Finest. From that era, though. From that era, though. From that era. Explain what era you talking about, man, for those who don't know. Man, uh. The era where it all started. Paint the picture for us, man, because, you know, we, we, I feel like Texas and Louisiana, we like cousins, you know what I'm saying? We are family. And, Fact. and, and a lot of the music that we grew up on was from New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? Especially in our area, because, you know, we, we up there too in age, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I want you to paint the, the scene, because from my vantage point, it seemed like it was like new, uh, no, no Limit and Cash Money was just running shit. Well, let me say this, since you said that, uh, while y'all was growing up off our music, we was also growing up off, off Scarface and the Ghetto Bars yeah. and Gangsta Nip. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. That's People dope. like that, for like for real. We really was, we was listening to those guys. Spice One. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm Facts. saying? He was the first one we ever heard talk about a chopper, Spice One. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so it's crazy though. Although y'all, y'all may have grew up on our music, y'all have a sound and y'all never wavered from that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What, what is that? Like, who, who's responsible for that? It's just the culture, man. The I think culture. it's a little bit deeper. Like, you come to New Orleans, you see a second line. You hear the drums, it'll hit you in a way that it'll, you'll feel it. Right. It'll make your feet want to move. It'll make, it'll make you want to move. And also, and I were ever coming up, we played in the high school band. Mm. So you might see a guy walking around with a trumpet all day long, or a tuba, or a trombone, and or we used to challenge sticks. each other. The guys on drums will challenge each other, and the guys on trumpet will challenge each other. You know, so music is just part of our culture. It's just part of our culture. We would compare the second line like uh, like a go-go in D.C. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we was actually able to go see an actual go-go when it was going on. That's right. Correct. Essence, Backyard, e- e- E2, you know, all these guys yeah. that was doing their thing, we was able yeah. to check those guys out. Yeah, like, like when, I, when I watch documentaries, you, you'll see, like, a DJ Jubilee or something. Like, they'll mention people like that. Like, for y'all, who, who was the, the creator of the sound? Like, if you say Houston, right, they're going to say DJ Screw. Right, they're gonna they're gonna give you something like that. Who was would you say was like the person that I'm really? Go with T.T. Tucker. T. T. Tucker. I would say T.T. Tucker was one of the okay. first ones on yeah, the St. Thomas man. Project. I'm gonna go with that. Yeah. You know? yeah. As far as we know, maybe somebody may know something other than that, but T.T. Tucker was the first one. That's T.T. Tucker. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. what's up. Okay, like for those now, I'm interested. Like, what, what are some of the songs that you know uh, somebody like me could go check out? That's like a T.T. T. Tucker Shit. classic. You know song say, where they at? Where they yeah. at? Where they at? That was it. Oh, that was so that's Tucker. sample. So that's a sample. That's T.T. Yeah, Tucker and DJ Irv. Yeah. That's, that's where that awesome. come from. You do it at like block parties. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like they be playing the music, like the Trigger Man beat at the block party. Yeah. Ghost and they get on the mic. Club. Ghost Town. Ghost Town Club. Or Newton's. Yeah. Streamline. Streamline. Stuff yeah. like that. That's crazy, man. Um, all right. So you, you got that, man. And um, at what point, uh, we were talking off camera, you were talking about a major record label named Big Boy Records, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Were they before Cash Money, before uh, No Limit? Like, explain like the history of the the rap scene. You remember, I don't remember if they came before or after Cash Money. Same time, right, around well, the same time. At one time, there was a same very time. big, big label, you know, yeah. and uh, they had nice artists. All of them was nice, so they had a lot nice of, artists. The guy who uh, who owned Big Boy Records, he went to the feds. Right. When he went to the feds, I, I don't know exactly what happened, so don't quote me on this. But I think a lot of the artists were independent. That's why people were able to sign Mystical and, right. you know, these other artists that was on Big Boy Records. Free yeah. agents. Free, yeah, free agents, agents, like, yeah. But in like Big Boy Defense, they had really nice artists at the time. 
Big Boy was the shit. Yeah, Big Boy was, was the shit. Nice label, bro. Yeah. 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 So Big Boy. And, and Hype Enough. Will at Hype Enough. Hype Enough guy. Records. Hype Enough Records. Shout out to Will at Hype Enough because that's the guy Facts. who had a record that really was trying to put guys from uptown on. That was he just don't get his recognition. Slim yeah, first. Right. That was Slim first. His uh, first. Yeah, uh, that was Slim come from. That was his first, his first uh, record label. He was on Hype Enough. Hype Enough. Of the Parkway. Of the Parkway. Yeah. Shout out to Will. Shout out to Will, man. Yeah, man, we finna go through that on the music, man. But before that, man, let's get let's take it back to y'all's, you know what I'm saying, y'all growing up. I know you say um y'all are from Magnolia, but y'all had ties to the Calio projects. Mm -hmm. yeah. Weren't those two places beefing? Well not all the time. Not at my time. Okay. As a kid coming up, I lived with my mama said so I had to live. I didn't have a choice to, you know. And and believe it or not, those places you can walk to the Calio, to the Magnolia, to the Melvin Mean project, to the St. Thomas project. Mm -hmm. So people don't speak on it, but there's a lot of family members that come from those projects. Baby mamas and our homies got children in the Calio and Calio dudes got children for our girls in the Magnolia. So it, it's, it's not as simple as people might want to say. You right. dig? So everybody, it'll never be a whole project against a whole project. Because we, we push the peace line. You know, I don't talk death to the youth. I talk life into them. Right. So if they all have some kind of beef or something going on, I, I don't, you know, I, like I said, we speak life into them. How did y'all get the name Magnolia Twins? Because I'm, I'm sure y'all not the only twins in Louisiana. You know what? We didn't even make that name up, but they just start right. calling us that on the internet. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I know the twins, the Magnolia Twins. I yeah. know them. Right. Was it because they couldn't tell y'all apart? Or just like, fuck it, man? Probably. Yeah. I think so people give up. They don't even try. Wait, wait, wait. So how long have y'all, like, I know twins, sometimes their parents be making them, like, y'all dress a lot here, y'all get the same clothes. Were y'all... At what point did y'all start saying, hey, nigga, let's try to run this like hey, where? Just, this guy been knowing us since we was children. I can't tell him him. Pop. <laughs> <laughs> can't tell him apart. my whole life. So y'all never want to like, hey, because again, when we met y'all, you know, I couldn't tell y'all apart. Mm -hmm. When we see y'all, when we see y'all out on, on social media, can't tell y'all apart. Right. Mm -hmm. That's by design that y'all say, hey. It's a method to the madness. It's a method brother. to the madness. No, what's the method? Because I thought it was, I, I, I be thinking it's for females. Like, y'all be switcheroo. Well, well, nah. We don't, we don't <laughs> <laughs> hold up. Nah, no, no, no. This kid, hold up. Hold up. This kid, hold up. This kid, hold up. This kid, hold up. This kid, hold up. Yeah, definitely. Back then, we would switch classes, switch females. All type of shit. I go to this class, you go to my class. Yeah. All that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Nah, for real. Well, I wouldn't. If you was a twin, wouldn't you do it? For sure. <laughs> nah, let me, let me, but let me get serious for a minute, like, yeah. you know, about, about this twin shit, right? Like, I think intelligent people, they strive to be rare and unique, right? right? Mm -hmm. I don't want to do what everybody else does. Mm -hmm. You have to ask yourself, man, if I was a twin, right, we look exactly alike. <laughs> would I do what we want to do <laughs> or would we do what all other twins do? We do our own thing. Yeah. At the end of the day, man, we lived a lot of places, California, North Carolina, uh, uh, right. Memphis, Memphis, Nashville, you know, people, whether Texas. they like it, but Texas, whether they like it or not, they always, we're going to live in infamy in their mind for the rest of their life. They're going to remember these twins. Some people respect it, some people hate on it, but we do with women like, I don't care what no nigga. See, yeah, so. A little minded people might, that might say something like, don't y'all think y'all too old to be dressing the like? And I'd be yeah. like to myself, like, duh. Like, I know that, you know what I'm saying? But you got to do what work for you. Mm. If you go to the club and your jump shot falling, why you, going the, why you going to the hole and don't? You keep on shooting. You do what works for you. Now you might have 20, I'm 100. You might have 20, maybe mm -hmm. 25 females say, I, I don't like that child. Is they too old for that. But you might have the other 80 might be like, yeah, I think that shit dope. It shows they're unique. Uh, you know, I like and they that. do it well. I got to give it to them. And I do it well. You know, I do, you know and this, this ain't no chump shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever had a scenario in which I had a baby scare? Because in that scenario, right? Both of y'all technically are the daddy, right? No, oh, we, we yeah, were doing yeah, flipping. We, wanted, we, we had condoms on. Oh, we had condoms. We were rocking like that. Got another twin question, man. Like, do y'all go to the barber at the same time? Get the same, like... Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, because like, yeah. I hate when one of y'all miss a day and like, ah, oh, we ain't... Oh, well, see, we don't live together. Yeah, okay, so... Together. Oh, so y'all don't go to the same barber, though? We go to the same yeah. barber. Okay, same barber. Together, yeah. I go once a week. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So you want to go to the barber Thursday? Yeah, fool, we're going to go to the barber. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Now, a lot of siblings usually they, they try to find individuality mm -hmm. you know being that y'all are twins even though y'all move as a unit how did y'all form your own individual selves but see that's the beautiful essence of it all and what i mean by that is although we are twins people that know us personally know we have different personalities right they know yeah, we, we know we have different personalities we fuss too. like 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 cats and dogs yeah we time. fuss we were yeah. kids we used to fight we see things differently because I see his imperfections, his imperfections as easily as he see mine. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Or uh, I might pull his coattail or something, he's slipping on, he might pull mine. And sometimes we might fuss about it, but at the end of the day, 
was ever more conducive to us to better than ourselves. That's what we end up following. Amen. You know what I'm saying? But we have our own minds, though. Yeah. If he's doing something, I don't like, nah, I ain't fucking with that. Yeah. Nah, I ain't doing that. Yeah. If I'm doing something, he don't like, he'll tell me, nah, Kareem, I ain't feeling that. I ain't, I ain't fucking and with that. I'll be like, ah, right, you don't have to. You know, we'll do, sometimes we dress different. Like, we come to my house, and he have on an outfit before I'm dressed. If I don't like what he have on, I won't wear it. And it's vice versa. Y'all want to hear, cra- hear something crazy about that, though? The crazy part about that is, when we don't dress alike, everybody acts. Y'all yeah. must be twins. Are y'all twins? Yeah. <laughs> so it's crazy. You have to see it to believe what I'm telling you. But when we dress alike, they don't ask no questions. We go on about our day. They don't, don't say nothing. nothing. <laughs> I swear. To, I swear. I, I just and I just want to debunk a rumor. When something happened to you, do you feel it? Nah. Okay. No, I indeed. wish. No, indeed. I wish. No, indeed. This shit happened to me. I can feel it. Yeah. I wish. <laughs> you know what I'm talking Man, about? My last twin question. <laughs> Wait. You guys a lot, but yeah, yeah, uh, these questions. I, 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 you know, it's never, you know, y'all, you know, come on. Uh, y'all, both y'all aren't married, right? No, nah. I ain't married. All right, y'all had y'all dated women before, though, right? Yeah, absolutely. So it's safe to assume that whoever found one of y'all attractive finds the other one attractive. I'm assuming. I would, I would guess so. You know mm-hmm. what? Me myself, I'm an alpha male, so I don't want to share no woman that I have with nobody. Yeah. But so you, my brother, my brother messing with her, I might look at her and be like, she fine. I would, you know, I would like that, but I know he. he Put it like this. What I'm gonna do to her, I know he's doing to her. Right. I don't wanna go behind nobody to do what I'm gonna do. Right. See what I'm saying? I'm about that good. You don't want that. You don't I'm want to you, you come behind me, brother. Uh, but so. you gotta know that if she finds you attractive, she must find your twin attractive. You gotta keep that in your head. I'm assuming. That's why we gonna start a show. <laughs> we got a listen. show coming up. No, nah, serious. serious. Listen. Seriously. Date, date the twins. Date, 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 date the twins. Show. We date the twins. We're gonna Season have twins, twins and twins. And Season two is gonna be international. Ghana, Switzerland, Canada. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Switzerland. Okay. Yeah, okay. Mix it up. Yeah. I like that. That's not verse. Yeah. That's not verse. Yeah. Would you do? Would you? If Zeus came and gave you the bag, would you? Would you do? Who is Zeus? Who? Zeus Network. Who is that? You do what? To do the, 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 the uh, reality show. Yeah. They came with the bag. Yeah, yeah they came Most with the bag. Definitely. Man, Alibaba can come with the bag. Yeah. 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 We'll be, be, be on AliExpress with the yeah. check. Yeah. You make a name up. Yeah. I'm going to get the bag. Omar Wittgenstein. It don't even matter. Just come on with it. All right. So I got to ask. Um. You know, normally, you know, when you're coming from the Magnolia, there's only so much you can look up to. Either you playing sports, uh, you um, rapping, or you in the game. You know, you on the streets. Yeah. And there's always a choice as a kid who you look up to, who you see, and which path you want to take. But both of y'all, like, and y'all can speak on it individually. Even uh, Jerga, you could speak on it too. Mm-hmm. What did you, as far as see, and what did you want to do? Was sports the thing? Was it the rapping, or was it like I want to get in these streets? With I'm, I'm gonna let them go first. Wait, 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 wait and I went to the Marine Corps in October. We went to the buddy, me and him went to the Marine Corps on a buddy program. Mm-hmm. For education or for? No, I went to the real Marine Corps. No, we, just saying, wanted, we just wanted, wanted to get out of the city. Okay, okay, okay. You know, my mama couldn't afford to send me to college. You know, I mean, I didn't want to do no more college anyway. I got to high school, I'm like, I ain't going. Our like, dad got killed when we was nine, so we was in a single parent home. Damn, what happened to your pops? We you got killed, right, killed. Right, right, right down the street from where we lived at. Yeah, I was like 10 years old. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But uh, uh, we went to the Marine Corps. When I, I did my four years of honorable discharge, when I, got out, when I got out of the Marine Corps, I couldn't find a job. I couldn't get a job. I applied, I applied. I'm at my mom's house, you know, fucking breaking the futon, yeah, eating food all, all up. I, like, I, I can't get up out of here, man. All our partners around us getting money. Yeah, I can't do this here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So my dudes around me, like my older brother, guys like this guy right here, that's why he with me today. Like, you yeah. know, I seen them getting it in. They fly, they got nice money, they got jewelry, they got yeah. nice clothes. The I'm like, I'm going to give me some of this money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean... So that's another thing. Our story is not like everybody else's story, bro. Yeah. Like we didn't I, come I, I from didn't come a, broken, a home. broken home. Like my, my mom didn't get high or nothing. She just worked a lot and liked the party, but shit, who don't at that age? She worked all the time. Yeah. I just but not home. Not but she, yeah, not but she was at work. So right. the streets right. kind of raised, you know what I'm saying? Dope fiends in my hallway coming up, you know. Coming shooting, home from school, shooting up in the hallway, don't say nothing, little twin. Be quiet. Mm-hmm. I ain't never said nothing. You know, I just grew up in a, in a messed up environment. I didn't grow up in a fucked up childhood, but my environment was just it was horrible. Fire. And the dudes I looked up to was like. My older brother, Shine, mm-hmm. Tonto, you know, Wop, Wop, Busy, yeah. him, him, you know what Foo. I'm saying? Fool, Charlie, Charlie Brown, Brown they, cause they was guys who, who got money and they would fly. Mm-hmm. They, they're about, they're sling that iron and had a little bit, they have to, but that wasn't our, our motion. Our motion was to get money and get at the women. Yeah. And that's what I wanted to do. Uh, what percentage of, uh, would you say like 13 to 15 year olds then probably touched a gun or shot a gun in New Orleans? Man. You too late. <laughs> I'ma let him ask that. He, he be around a lot of them. What? What is? It, what age does it start? 
shit. 10? 10? You would say 10 for sure. Now, mm-hmm. now, back then it wasn't that young, but now, man, look, it's Damn like. Show. The, the, back the, then, 13. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now that y'all are older, doesn't that seem kind of wild? Like you like damn. It was normal to us. No, yeah. we used to like the we used to fight. Yeah. You know, you had a reputation for knocking somebody out or throwing your hands, and if you lost, it didn't mean nothing. Next day you see, well, this is what I used to do. If I lose a fight, next time I see you, yeah, I'm gonna lace my shoes. I'm see, gonna, you we come from that. the school of hard knocks to where fear is just, it's, 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 it don't exist. Fear is weakness. Right. Like you don't have to win every fight, but you got to fight every time. That's but, the era we come from. But no, you could be a coward. Yeah, you could be. And shoot somebody from a moving car. So none of that fear us. Killers didn't scare us. Right. Because if you can kill, I can kill too. Yeah. And like, we prepared for combat. We former Marines, so I know how to shoot. All that yeah. sideways shit ain't getting you nowhere. <laughs> I know how to breathe and all that. So ooh, I'm, I'm prepared for that shit. It's cool with me. What do you think, because um, me and my uh, friend was talking about this. What, what do you think happened to, you know, being good from the shoulders? Like, just like, if you get your ass whooped, you just got your ass whooped. Like, where do you think it just went out to win up to now? All the youth just, they just want to tote pistols. Embarrassment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Embarrassment internet. is one thing. Internet. Yeah, the internet. The internet. You know what else I think, too? I think uh, growing up in the fatherless home has a lot to do with it, too, because when you get upset, you know, you behave like a woman. You, 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 you last up like you, it was your emotion. You emulate it like your mother. Yeah. You emulate a woman's thing, but your daddy be like, man, ah, you gonna put your sinner shoes on, you're gonna get in that yard and you're gonna fight. All that crying like a bitch. Yeah. Get your ass whipped, go, that's all right. Next time you see him, you go fight, but the man ain't there to tell him that. See? Yeah. So, so I think that's part of it too. Y'all being twins, y'all ever have to like jump a nigga? Like, it's, oh, wait, we, we, we gonna do we this. We can't even count how many niggas we can't even count it. God. <laughs> Look, if he fight, I gotta fight. Yeah, yeah like, I was like, 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 my ass, I come over. See, right, right. right. I, was, I was six years old, running them the nigga in the court, hit him in the head with a table leg. So yeah, wait, wait. So, so when y'all talk, when y'all speak on like, hey, it's not like I'm about to go whoop his ass. It's like we about to go whoop his ass. Man. Well, I'm gonna put it like this: If I see my brother fighting somebody, whipping on him, I probably, I probably don't jump. I, I probably let him do, I let him do his thing. That's the difference. Bro. I'm jumping in. That's the difference. I'm just, I'm just, no, listen. You know, I don't give a damn if you got my pants. See, we disagree sometimes. You know why I let him disagree. do his thing? You know why I let him do his thing? If he having this business, I don't need to jump on him and hit him and beat him up. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to do that. You know? I feel you. But sometimes you gotta make a statement. Don't fuck with the twins. Most people know. If you fight one of them, you gotta fight both. Right, don't fuck with the twins. He start fighting right, the first, right. I'm gonna do a look for stuff to bust somebody in the head. Then I'm gonna jump in. But see, I don't want no cats to think that I need my brother to help me fight because I don't. Yeah. Nah. I'll put in no work. I'll go do my business on my own and be like, I'll let them know after I did it. Like, yeah, I, I went this such and such. What's the craziest brawl y'all y'all been in coming up? The craziest what? what? Bra- craziest brawl y'all been in. Oh. I was in the Marine Corps. Oh, damn, the Marine Corps. Yep. Man, we so shook the MP van. My partner curred out the police dog. You yeah. got banned from the E Club. The E Club is the club on base. They see us coming. Uh-uh. Y'all can't come. Y'all can't come here. Yeah. Yeah. They try to stick a dog on my, on my partner Larry. He kicked the dog. Boom. Oh, he he curled him out. They tried to court martial him for that because the dog got curred after that. Oh, she Man, we, we shook the curved. MP van. We shook the MP van. On the base, shaking the MP van. Sit, man, like we. Yeah, we were wild. Yeah. We were Marines are crazy. We was Marines. I got partners that they'll, 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 they'll confirm that. Willie mm-hmm. Fred Evans. Larry, I got partners that was that was you know, mm-hmm. Bateman, Brian Dixon, you know, people I'm real cool with, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. they was with us that night. Most of the stories that we tell are not just me and him. Right. People were there that can confirm it. So I don't want to lie. Yeah, I, I, lying don't do nothing uh, for me. Speaking of stories, you got to tell this story, man. Um, y'all were on an interview and y'all were talking about the C murder versus juvenile mm. situation. Yeah, that y'all were in the club. That was his club. I, that was his club. Okay, I let so, him start that. So I let him start that because allegedly on uh, somebody titled it that. C murder slap juvenile, but that's not what happened. So explain nah. what happened. Jerk, yeah. Nah, it was a Calio party that night. Somebody out there prepped that female. I don't remember her name. She had a party. That's why they there. And basically, just the guys who was around C murder and Juve, you know, it's, two, it's the Calio and the Magnolia. So anytime there's that many guys from each hood get close, mm-hmm. it's going to be up. You know what I'm saying? And shit. Cal, uh, see, Murder came in with the Calio. You know, yeah. he had guys, well known guys, well known shoes out the Calio with him. But it ain't like they took over no club. No, nah, no. Club. It we, wasn't got, that. we got guys on the roof and shit. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. It, put it like this, bro. It was too many men. got no problems with the Calio. Yeah, so. yeah. Not just that. Let me tell you something about the twins. No Let me tell you something about the twins, bro. Yeah. If C. Murder came in there and slapped you and now, 
I would have said, hey, he smacked the shit out of you Juvenile. Facts. Right. There ain't no knock on me. All my project. You can't right. pay for no perks. Yeah, you yeah. can't do it. Get no perks. That's what he did. That's what he did. Yeah. But Juvenile is not the type of dude that's going to let nobody smack yeah, him. Yeah, I was about to say that. He yeah. ain't that type of dude. We, all, we all know him. We, we can all, all say that. You're not going to smack Juvenile, no bro. Juvenile. Yeah. No. He ignorant. <laughs> He's so gonna it's, fight, he's gonna kick, he's gonna, gonna do whatever. That. So is this one to read? Because again, us being from Texas, we always try to figure out why No Limit and, and them never linked up and did music. It was God that was the, around them. It's the crews that's it's around. Was, yeah, yeah, it wasn't necessarily it's them. them. It's not them. It was the dude that was it's around them. them. No, that's, all, that's always the case. If you were to, if you were to link up, one person from No Limit and one person from uh, Cash Money at the time. That Who would you want to see? They did that. that oh, Big Mo, did. rest in peace, Big Mo did a song with BG, man. Oh, ah, okay. And it was tight. It the next tight. day, after they had said that, see murder, that legend slapped Juvenile, see murder went on Juvenile bus in the Magnolia and did a song with him. Yeah. The next uh, day. Damn. Listen, bro, he did not slap him. Let me tell you this. The Magnolia was in the club deep, deep, deep. And I ain't talking about the twins, a jerk, a man, or nobody talking about dudes you don't even know. That's right. Who be tweaking and wait for something to go so they can squeeze off. Yeah. yeah. They, they, they can't wait for something like that to happen. How about when we tell this story, okay, even though I know for a fact we was there, he was there too. Yeah. Guy was there, Ski Boo was there. Ski Boo ain't no chump, man. Really? You gotta ask yourself. Stone, right. After he slapped him, what he did? Yeah, after what that, happened? what he did. What happened after the yeah, yeah. All these niggas out of the Magnolia just stood there and let that happen? Yeah, he got slapped and whatever. Yeah, That's it? That's not true, bro. Damn, don't make man. sense. Goddamn ghost stories, goddammit. Right. Um, I'm curious, uh, when Juvenile shot the Han video mm -hmm. in the Know You, um, how big, how how many people knew about that situation going on? How many people were supposed to be there? Like, was it a thing where everybody from the Know You was like, hey, Juvenile shooting a video, uh, let's run it up? Man, it was one of the first times that we seen tour buses and camera vans and lights and shit like that. Right. Yeah, he had yeah. shot a soldier rack video before that, but it was kind of like, well, I'm out. Yeah. It wasn't that. Yeah. yeah. When he came, I went, I, I was out the Marines. I went and got my old uniforms and gave it to people. Stop oh, giving them out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah a lot of soldiers. That's how they had camouflage on and stuff. Oh, yeah, that was your yeah. shit. Yeah. Some of it. Some of it. Mm -hmm. okay. Would you say Juvenile was like, who would you say is the reason why New Orleans got as big as it got as far as musically? Damn, bro. Cash Money. Just Cash saying. Money. I'm saying like Cash what money. artists from Cash Money? Probably got to be Juvenile. Got to be Juvenile, right? Got to be him. Got to be Juvenile. I don't know. And because you say Master P. Master uh, P went nation went worldwide too, but he was doing this thing in California. We just didn't know about it. Right. But it look, depends but, on what you mean. Say that again. Like who? Like for the commercial success, like who do you think had that? Because for me, it, it felt like it was juvenile, especially with the back that ass up and the, you know what I'm saying, the high, like that shit just he seemed like everybody level. fucked yeah. with he it. Took it. He took it to another level. He did, he did. Yeah. yeah. So well, did y'all feel- it start with Pete. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did y'all feel that like, like the world yeah. felt like y'all seen that shit and it was That's like, us. oh, we finna, yeah. we, we out of here with That's this us. shit. See, but That's this the, the Magnolia, yeah. 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 See, this is the thing, like, even though we was, we, we knew most of the cash money artists personally, Right. We wasn't separated between cash money and No Limit. If No Limit put out something that was bumping, we was fucking with it. Right. We, we, we was bumping it. So what do y'all what feel like when uh, Young Buck came down to New Orleans and was getting in the mix and he's from, uh, of he course, he's from Memphis. Yeah, so yeah, how was, how was that yeah. accepting him into the mix? He was cool. He was Young cool. Buck was humble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, he nice. bring some of that Memphis game down too, you know what I'm saying, as far as some of that, you know? Now he's from Nashville. Nah. I mean, Nashville, I'm Nashville. sorry. My, I said, Nashville. 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 Yeah, Nashville, I mean. He used to be in and out. He wasn't really, you know, he probably had a little house or two through there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Female he was messing with, Yeah, you know? little female here and there. Cool cat. He didn't try to come take nothing over. Nah, he was just chilling. He, he was even cool, laid back dude. Yeah. People mm -hmm. know who the fuck with him. They yeah. respect him. When he came down, I remember like the Jews, you have him in the truck with him, you know, riding around with him. And, uh, right. You know, he was messing with Juvenile when Juvenile was trying to start his label. I guess they were supposed to sign Young Buck. We don't know how that turned out. I already want to speak on that. But we just, any, anybody that came in that project, man, like, we, 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 we definitely seen him. They had to see us. Because yeah. we, you know, we on the avenue. We not in a coat where we on the avenue. We on Washington for rec. What BG used to talk about. And you know, you respect what Juve got going on with him, so ain't nobody gonna mess with him. Nah, no. Juvenile, Juvenile. To this day respect. right now. Yeah. Juvenile see one of us, he's man, come up here, come on the stage. It's love. Know? Even if I don't right. talk to him for months and years, you know, if he see me, it's love. Mm -hmm. yeah, I respect him. Facts. Mm -hmm. Jugger man, give us a uh give us the blueprint of how you was able to have a successful business in the Magnolia. What was that like trying to build that? A business? The club. That wasn't in the Magnolia. It was on the outskirts. It was okay. like on. Uh, shit. It was, on it was hard, Island, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Shit. It was hard, bro. You know, you got Josephine Johnny shooting it up. You got guys getting robbed in the dice game. Yeah, it was wild, bro. Guys trying to sneak big old choppers in the club yeah. with, with, with suits on and stuff, telling them, man, you can't come in here like that. 
Yeah, like yeah, suits. Like yeah, it, suits. It, 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 it was hard, man. I, yeah, it was I hard. promise you. Mm. Was that that Terrence, that infamous Terrence Gangster Williams pick with the two choppers? Was that in your club? No, no, okay. no, no, no. That probably was in detail. <laughs> no. That was in detail. That probably was in detail. Yeah, that probably oh, was in detail. Mm. Club by the milk. Yeah. Mm. Now I gotta ask, man. Um, top five producers of all times from New Orleans, man. Oh, that's easy. Five. I'm, I'm, I, I can give you Manny Fresh. Okay, number one. I, I'm, and no particular oh, order. Okay, okay, okay. No okay. particular order. All right. Precise. Okay. Uh, KLC for KLC sure. KLC for sure of the Parkway. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to say yeah. Trackmaster. Yeah, Trackmaster. For sure. Dickie for sure. Shout yeah. out to Dickie, man. Shout out to Dickie. Like, we, we was rapping. Sure. Dickie did a lot of our tracks, man. Yeah, Shout out to Dickie. Dickie is from there. Oh, that, yeah, Trackmaster. Track yeah. You said Louisiana or New Orleans? Fuck it, Louisiana. Oh, you got to put mouse on the track. You got to put mouse oh, on the track. Yeah. Oh, you got to put mouse on the track. Yeah. Oh, oh, dude, they were doing boosting on the track. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. 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 I, so I, I, yeah, I yeah. like them. Anybody I missed, I apologize, but that's 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 some top five. Track at it, number one for me. Yeah. So, yeah. so now, I gotta, now I got to ask you, like, Baton Rouge dominance over the past couple years, man. Did y'all see that coming? Was, was there music coming to New Orleans? Like, how did this shit happen? It's like you got NBA young boy, Kevin Gates, Boosie, Webb. Like, it just right. let me, let me been nonstop. Bro. A lot of people from, a lot of young artists from New Orleans like to say it's New Orleans versus everybody, right? Right. And I try to teach them, you know, sometimes you do it in these country towns, and some of them country boys don't like New Orleans niggas. So when we say we look at them as country, because they just, when we go there, we just feel a vibe. They just feel like we don't vibe with them. But my, my message is to them, because I've lived out there outside of New Orleans. Those dudes, it's cool once you get to meet them. They, they, and if you're doing business, you can't, you can't have that, can't that, have that provider with them. And I'm from New Orleans, y'all from the country. You can't be like that. Yeah, you you gotta get on that network and get your money. You're a thinking man's game, even in the music game. Because Boosie didn't blow up from New Orleans people. Right. He Most blew people in New Orleans wouldn't listen to Boosie when Boosie came out. This the radio facts. station wouldn't play it. This just facts. They, they didn't, they, when Boosie didn't blow up in New Orleans, but he never dissed New Orleans. That's why I don't have a problem with him. And when we start listening to Boosie, actually getting on him, we're like, we feel the pain in his music. Right. You know, he, he, he's spitting that real. We Whether you like him or not, but nobody we got to say about him, Boosie. Make good music. And I had my partner listen to it. I'm a Magnolia dude. You know what I'm saying? We was on it. So, yeah. so, why, uh, yeah, so why, why do you think it seems like the musical, not saying New Orleans isn't, isn't doing their thing, but it just seems like Baton Rouge, you got the Fredo Bang. You just got so many people just doing their thing from Baton Rouge right now. You know what I'm saying? Like they just seem like being on Because the, a lot of artists in New Orleans get killed, man. It's their no. time. It's really their time. time. It's we ain't even time. tripping. Because guess what? Artists in Baton Rouge fuck with New Orleans artists if they, mm-hmm. you know, that, that's a good look for them. But see, every time a New, a New Orleans artist come up, like BTY Youngin, rest in peace, yeah, he about to blow up, he get killed. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Young Greatness, he about to come up, he get killed. Man. Soldier Slim. Soldier Slim. Rest in peace, Right before he blow, he get killed. Yeah. It's like James Tap. everybody in New Orleans, right before they get ready to blow, somebody kill him. Yeah. I advise you to just leave me. Right before you get ready to blow, leave them, man. Yeah. It's a crab in the barrel, you know? They got a lot of young guys that's rapping right now. We, we make sure that we get in the inbox and encourage them. If I feel pain and struggle in their music, I make sure I, 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 I shout them out. Co-sign, man. Co-sign a few of them right now. Uh, Kyrie, J. Merck, you dig, uh, T-10, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, Bub, B-3, you know what I'm saying, these are guys. Nino Calvin. Nino Calvin. Toki. Toki Hefner, you know what I'm saying, Double G was Junior Montana. that we endorsed, Junior Montana. Cold, man. They nice. A lot of dudes in the city. A lot My of cousin, in N-O, city. N-O, Honey Be Real, you know, these are people I got partners in California. Shout out to Tragedy. You know, he's doing this music thing and he supports us when we go to California. That's my dude. And guys from Oakland, uh, XO and Ray. Yeah, XO and Ray, seven, seven figs, man. XO yeah. and Ray. They from North Oakland. They're from North Oakland, 55th Market, man. North Oakland in the building. And we have Shout a close out. relationship with Oakland. Big Zoda, what's happening, homie? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, y'all are uh, y'all very uplifting and encouraging when it comes to speaking to other artists are trying to impute some wisdom into the youth. What make y'all feel like that's so important? Because I used to, I took a long time, but both of us, all of us, took a long time to destroying our community. And I think any man, if you grew up to be a grown up to be an adult, you should want to change the, your way of thinking and what you did to the community. If you, if you understand that these people watched the violence at times that you perpetuated, they watched you sell drugs, and they emulate what they seen older guys do. So you're responsible for that. You're responsible mm-hmm. for that. If you don't feel no responsibility, then you ain't shit. How easy or difficult is it to see something like a bad situation about to happen, start coming into motion and trying to get in between it. We got two rules, bro. One of the rules is anything goes out here in the street. Ain't no everything rules. goes. Everything Ain't no goes. Rules. Any and everything goes out here. The second rule is stay the fuck out of nigga business. Straight up. That, that, that's, that's, that's the message we push. Yeah. To the youth, you know, we tell them like, look, man, we really came from the streets. We really was in the streets for real. This ain't no rap. This ain't no rappers. 
This ain't no uh no no podcast or none of that type of stuff. Oh, no, we do have a podcast. Think twice. Think podcast. twice. Podcast with the two. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are gonna get into that for sure. All right, all Good right. shit. But I'm sorry. Go ahead, brother. Oh no, 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 no. Go ahead, go ahead. I was just saying that we tell the youngsters that this three shit that y'all think y'all is about it ain't what's happening. It's bullshit. Yeah. It ain't what's happening. It, that that this is fake. It ain't real. Um, elaborate on that because um I know y'all had a y'all had a thing where y'all was saying earlier off camera like man the things the rules that niggas think they playing by. It ain't even real. Like the rules don't even really it's exist. Not. Okay. <clears throat> this is this is this is this is why we say that, bro. Like, and I'm gonna make this real swift, but I always say this, but I want people to, to hear it over and over and hope it get programmed in your mind that, you know, man, it's it's you can stand on every rule and every principle, follow all the laws and all of that, man, but it's thousands and thousands and thousands. Y'all know guys, we know guys that's got railroaded by them people, man. They're in jail for something they didn't do. And only why they only reason why they're in jail is because they was in the game. Couldn't afford a lawyer. How you gonna win if them people railroad you, man? You can't win, you can't beat them. People is railroaded sitting in jail for something they ain't do right now. Secondly, when we say there ain't no rules, I'm not saying that the rules are not set for the game. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, most of these dudes don't follow the rules. Right. They're not snitching. Right. You know, don't hit your homeboy stash. Right. Don't rob your partners. Right. Don't fuck on your baby mom, um, your partner baby mom when you go to jail. And these are all the things these cats do out here. Right. We really know we're speaking the facts. They know we're speaking the facts. They, they, the fact. they ain't gotta admit it. But it happened to everyone, everybody that's listening to you, they, they have their own story be like, them dudes ain't lying. Tell them the truth. What's, ain't no rules in this game. Everything goes. What's, what's the hardest lesson that you learn from the streets? The streets don't love you back. The streets don't love you back. You can love them bitches, they ain't gonna love you they back. They ain't gonna love you back. Once you die, they gonna throw a second line for you. That's what we do in New Orleans. They gonna throw a DJ for you. They gonna wear your t-shirt for two weeks. After that, two they're going to be in the dirty clothes. Two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, different people. You might see a t-shirt around for like a week or two. Yeah. You might yeah. see this person wear, yeah. that person wear. After that, they ain't going to see your t-shirt no more. It's them over. Little, them little rollers that you're yeah, over there. Man, them rollers going to turn brown for anybody else come back and visit you, man. Now, facts, facts. Now, you mentioned things like, you know, Washington Ave. Mm -hmm. um, so, y'all was like selling, what was it, crack, uh, cocaine, weed, whatever, whatever, whatever. What you want? Everything. What yeah. you want? Come get it. So, you said something that was very prevalent. You said something about like, man, you know, we get it, we get it cooked up that morning, because you know we up at five a.m. trying to get it to them by six, seven a.m. Well, because they are moving. I'm gonna be real with you, bro. Like, the difference between crack and heroin. Once you figure out the two, the difference between those two, you ain't gonna want to sell crack no more. No Not again. especially uptown in the Magnolia, because it was a, it was known for heroin. That was our thing, like. That's why it's so dangerous. It's compared to like Baltimore and Philly and places that have a high heroin presence yeah. because of the high heroin addicts in New Orleans, man. So and it creates more violence. A crackhead they take the fight out of you. Yeah. But somebody sometimes, that's on heroin, sometimes somebody that's on heroin, they get up in the morning and they sick. They need it. They got to have it. They got to have it. I see. So it's a little more simple to to get that off. Now, as far as that game, man, it's a very it's a very dangerous game where everyone looks to get out of it. Were y'all moving like I'm gonna one day get out of this game? Not like at that time, nope. So just easy money, just just, <laughs> just spend, uh, easy come, <laughs> easy, and what I want to say, easy come, easy go, huh? Like you, you make the money quick, you spend it quick, and live like it's no tomorrow. Or you know what? In a way, you just say that because we never really thought that a hurricane would come, and we'd never go back to where we lived that again in our lives. We never thought that, right? You know, we, if you live in a project, if you a hustler, you gonna make you can make money because some somebody always want to come buy something, yeah. no matter what time. it is. Some people stay in their lane. Some people won't deal with the weed. Right. Some people want to deal with the coke. Some people want to deal with the dope. See, that's the difference. We call dope dope in New Orleans. Heroin is dope. Right. Coke is not dope in New Orleans. Coke is coke. Coke is coke. Like our intellect and our dialect is different because we hear people say all the time, like, my woes. We don't use that like that. Right. It's, mis it's misinterpreted when you say my We'll never say my woes. Woes started as like calling somebody, say, whoa, that. That's, that's what that say, woe. Say, woe. That's say, what that came from. We don't say that's my woe. We don't say I'm that. I'm going to chill with my woes. We don't say that. Right. We don't, when we say down bad, like, man, you down bad. That don't mean you hurt or you on your ass. That means you did something wrong. Man, I was down bad. I, I shouldn't did have that. did that. I did that bad. You know what I'm saying? That's what down bad Down means. bad means something different to us. Right. You like did? a good move. Yeah, like a good move. And even the word son. Like, they think we got that from New York. But that ain't, we been doing that. Like, if somebody's under you, man, that's my little son, man. You know, this, this, like, this is my son. You know what I'm saying? This is my son right here. Fuck out of yeah. This is my son. Yeah. I'm yeah. big brother, you heard me? So <laughs> like, so, my son. You been my son. You so know, like when Birdman like calls Lil Wayne his son, it is, that's just the lingo of like, 
You see, the, no, he literally mean that when he like said that about Wayne. Yeah, he literally so mean it, that. So Wayne, I'm about to say, because Wayne call him his daddy. So I'm like, is that do niggas younger than you call niggas? No, call, no okay, no, all right. No, just, make, just making sure. Just making Whoever sure, you make, son, I ain't gonna call you daddy. No, right. yeah, no, hey, no. You just you my little son. Boy. You my little son, boy. He might be like, fuck you, boy. Yeah. Just let your son. You my son. Yeah, that's how we do that. But let me make right. something clear before we go any further. We talk about these drugs and selling drugs. That shit is not cool, and we don't advocate that. Right. Let's make that clear. Yeah. I'm telling y'all what we did. To where we at now, so you can listen to me, youngsters. And I'm gonna tell you, that ain't the route you wanna go. I love the Magnolia Project. I love the LD. I love the TC. But those blocks we talking about gave us heartache. It gave us pain. It gave funerals, us strife. Stress. Funerals, stress, and all that. You see what I'm saying? So it's not a knock against my hood. I'm, I'm letting you know if you live to be this age, what you gonna go through. If you're lucky. If you're lucky. If you're lucky. Like I said, you know, people question like the validity of niggas who was fly and and laid back and mess with the broad like him, us, but man, if, if some of these stories, we can't even tell the things that we've been through, the things that we've seen. We don't talk about it. We don't even talk about it. You know what I'm saying? People don't even know, and that's the way we want to keep it. That's how we rock. That's why we still free and carry guns and smoke, you know, do what yeah. we want to do to this day. I want to backtrack a little bit. Um, my mother used to tell me uh, the military is no place for a black man. Mm -hmm. Do y'all feel that's a fair statement? Yes. Why well, I was in the Marine Corps. When they say feel the proud, they mean that. They mean that. Yeah. But you know what, though? I think you, if you teach a child to go in there with a certain mentality, <laughs> what I mean is go get the education, go get the training, go get the benefits, go get the benefits, and don't fall for the monk in the tailpipe, the okey dope, the okey dope, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. That's what, I, that's what I say. Get that training. Get the benefits. Get the experience, man. Get like, the experience. Travel I've been to a world. lot of places. I've been to Africa, Australia, yeah. Japan, <laughs> before I was even 21. But don't so, love, don't love nothing that don't love you. That's it. At the end of the day, that's what yeah, I'm put that. Huh? Yeah, don't, yeah, exactly. Don't love, but don't love you. Yes. And then, um, do you feel like what you experienced while y'all was in the military prepared y'all for what y'all would experience coming out of the military? No, I never, I never thought that. Because like I say, we had dibble dabble a little here and there, but. When I came home, I thought, man, this, this, I got the uh, animal discharge from the Marines. I ain't finna even get in the streets. I'm about to go get me a good job. Mm -hmm. But like he said, man, we, you know, we hanging out with our partners. We going out, you know, we fucking on the futon, breaking. Me and my mom, my house back and forth. I'm like, man, I gotta get up out of here, man. My partners getting money. They got yeah. all type of cars and whips yeah. and jewelry. Yeah, man, I, I'm gonna get man, that. Man, so, I, and because I had to, because of course I know y'all seen all that happening. You know, with the people, your, your homeboys getting money before y'all left. Mm -hmm. Right. What made y'all have the mentality like go to get this and then come back and get the good job? Because a lot of dudes don't even start there. They I want to see something else. Yeah. I want to see something different than what I had been seeing. Because even before I jumped in the streets, I had seen a whole bunch of murders and and, and dope fiends and mm -hmm. you know close calls. And so before the military, so that's why I said we went to the military. We were so wild because we was really just from the streets. And my dad went to the Marines, and I wanted to be like him. I looked up to my dad. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about it then, because you know the '90s was crazy. You know the 2000s hit, but then Katrina does happen, mm -hmm. and uh, no one could expect it. You know for them levees to break like that and kind of flood the night ward, and you know the devastation that followed after that. They blew them up. They blew them levees I'm up. I'm gonna say that. Okay. Oh, okay. Season. They blew them up. Yeah, blew so y'all heard the explosions, or y'all just? Yeah, but I know they blew them up. All right, let's talk about it then. Let's talk about it. Why All do right. you feel they blew them up, and what was the purpose behind? Well, see, that's the thing. Cause I don't feel like that. Minister Farrakhan sent divers down there. And, and what they found was consistent with military explosives. Because you can get only from the military. You can only get from the military. So that's you really got So what would you say they gained from it? Like you really got certain parts of town, they flooded out. They flooded certain parts of, parts, parts of the city out. Mm. So they could buy those people land up. Mm. And that's what they did. People came back and even buy their houses. They had loans for 100 years. That's true. That's true. I lived in the Irish Channel. I didn't even get no water around my house. Damn. Power went Damn. out for a little while, came back on. <laughs> They so, put a certain parts of the city so they can buy that land up and gentrify New Orleans. They nah, gentrify New Orleans. So were y'all were y'all were y'all uh, uh, boots on the ground when the uh, when the levees blew up? Were y'all in the water? No, nah, I, was I, in went to, I went to Memphis. Memphis. Okay, Memphis. Right. Shout out to Memphis, Tennessee, man. There yeah. you go. There Shout you go. Shout out to Memphis, man. Shout out right. to my man Mel. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. With the Katrina happening, you know, uh, you know, we in Texas. A lot of cats came up through Houston, came to Dallas. You know, uh, we just started seeing dreadheads and New Orleans niggas all around, and mm -hmm. it, it kind of mixed the culture out here. They came and started turning up different blocks out here too. <clears throat> How was it for y'all to see New Orleans kind of travel, or New Orleans, the, what what New Orleans is, travel to parts like Texas, Oklahoma, Mississippi, trying to you know just kind of scattering out. I, I got my opinion. Let you go yeah. first. Well, I'm gonna let Joe speak on it first. All right. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. 
it was different, but anywhere we go, we gonna make it. You know, New Orleans small. That's facts. You know what I'm saying? It's like all this land right here. Shit. It's the culture. Now, now that, that hustle mentality, y'all niggas. <laughs> <laughs> they brought that shit right up through here. But you know what, bro? Find a way, man. man, listen, a lot of a lot of Houston dudes told me like, I ain't gonna lie, man. You know, like we kill and we shoot down here, but y'all niggas something different. And you know what? That's true because these dudes are more player. These dudes actually had money in Houston. In Houston. Yeah. And Dallas dudes got bread. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we hungry at the time. And we hungry, bro. I mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> we got that Haitian so, blood in us. We ain't got nothing. We, yeah. we lost everything we ever had. Yeah. So my whole, kinda, my whole existence kinda, is done. Yeah. We're kind of in a state of uh, uh, emergency, like desperate, desperate, like, you and know see, what I'm saying? They thought we was like on some trying to shine shit, but no, we really was living like that in New Orleans, like, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Like that. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was dog carry dog, dog, bro. To kill dog eat dog down. Yeah, I can only imagine when you lose your social, your ID, your everything, your everything, yeah, everything. everything. You can't even pull up nothing to show who you are. Yeah. Well, we're going to get out the mud. Yeah. So one thing I like about y'all, just watching the interview, y'all are very articulate, but y'all also well read and in conscious, right? Right. So I'm going to just throw out some, some stuff that, that's happening right now. Um, What do y'all think about all of these cryptocurrency people getting killed out of nowhere? Like... The founder of Cash App just got stabbed to death. Yeah. Like, what what do you think is going on? <laughs> well, see, I'm gonna say this. Shit. Everything is not a conspiracy. You know what I'm saying? But everything ain't what it seems either. Right. You know, uh, I seen you had a sister Jaguar right on it. She was telling a lot of things that they do undercover and yeah. sneak. She say, but that sister's not crazy. Uh? That sister is not <laughs> that sister. She no, 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 no. What I mean is, no, no, everything she's saying, everything she's saying is not just a lie, bro. She ain't just bullshit is what I'm saying. She may be a little looped to the state the way she do some shit, but some shit she was saying, I'm listening to her like, you know, <laughs> say, so, say. Everything, everything ain't. Everything ain't what it seems. Yeah. yeah. I believe they'll do some shit like that, though. They'll kill somebody to take over the, that's yeah. what they do. That's what they set foot on, they rob, kill, and. But I'm saying like the, but I'm saying like the founder of Cash, like that, that don't even sound right. You right. can't just touch a made man like that, bro. Right. Shit, and for that shit. to happen, and then- You can't uh, touch him. And there you go. They hey, we got a saying in New Orleans, bro. I don't care how oh, big you is or how bad you think you is. If you can be seen, you can be touched. Yeah. It's just that mm -hmm. simple. Out of sight, out of mind. But you can be seen, you can be touched. Yeah. There's always somebody better than you. Yeah. Stand on your square. That's right. it. Right. Next, the next one I got to ask you about is China clicking up with all these other countries to try to get the U.S. dollar the fuck up out of here, man. What do y'all think? What y'all think about that? I know about that. See, I heard about that. I heard about that. They've they, they, they been trying to do that, though. They've yeah. been, been, been. But you know what I think, though? This is my opinion. Black people are the largest consumers in the world, not just America. And we spend paper money. Facts. Right? So what you going to do when you, when you, I mean, the consumers are the ones that spend the money. What you going to do? It don't matter to me. I hope they drop a bomb somewhere I'll buy a bank close to my house so I can go in that bitch. That's what yeah. I do. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Man, we far removed from the streets, but it's just in us, bro. But come down to that where shit get hectic, man. All three of us, we we'll rob, steal, and kill to, to survive, bro. Straight up. Don't never get that twist because we on the internet and we drop the bomb by the bank by my house. Please. That's it. That's all you got to do. <laughs> I'm gonna go in there and give me some of that. Yeah. Yeah. So, what 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 uh let's just say what three books books do you think every black man should read? Oh. Message to the black man for, for, for about shit, Elijah, shit. Elijah Muhammad. Message to the black man. Mm-hmm. You need to be, uh, read The Destruction of Black Civilization by Walter Williams. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's another good one? 16 Crucified Saviors by Cursed Graves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Not nah, very good ones. Yeah. And read some Ashwa Kwesi. Ashwa Kwesi is a good author. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Rap Brown. If you never heard about Rap Brown, y'all go check Rap Brown out, man. Right. Uh, yeah. Y'all check out uh, Young Fred Hampton. There you go. They oh, yeah, that got when he, was, when he was 18, 17 years old, man. Yeah. When he blood in my eyes by the police. Newton. Yeah, no, blood in my eyes by George Jackson. By George Jackson, my bad. Yeah, yeah. Blood by in George my eyes, Jackson. another good one. Like when Pac had that song, Hey Jackson. Yeah. Doo -doo. That's from that book. There you go. He's telling a story about what happened when he. From Niggas to God, one and two. Make yeah. sure you read Niggas that. Niggas to God, one and two. Man, we read a lot of books, man. Yeah, yeah. We see yeah. things a lot different than most guys. Yeah. I read a lot about ancient Kemet. Yeah. The Nile Valley. And I don't have a religion, but you know, I, I take a little bit. I, you know, I eat the fish and spit out the bones, like there anybody should. Like anybody, as should. you should, as you should. Now I'm curious, uh, in your heyday, as far as the best time back, you know, when you know when you when you when you was hustling, hmm. uh, what would you say you was probably pulling in a week or a month? Would you say as far as just money wise? It, it depends, bro. Cause sometimes it be good, sometimes it won't. Mm. I mean, but was it just a, with you? him? He'll tell you. Like, say, bro, like, to be honest with you, whatever you had, it was going to be gone every day. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like something just to kind of get by through the day, re-up, nah, kind of nah, go we, through. We hustling. We hustling, bro. Okay. We hustling. We, we are balling. 
<laughs> well, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. But we would. If, 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 Amil? 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 No, I ain't never seen no, him. I ain't gonna find like that. Very do see him. They, they, they lie to you if they telling you that, bro. Okay, so it's cap. A lot of it's cap. A lot of cap. I would think so. It was a lot of street money, bro. It's a lot of street money. It's a lot of street money. At that time. At that time, especially. These niggas scamming. I told my dad, that's dope money. Now you scamming, bro. Stop. <laughs> okay. Scamming. Okay. Okay. Do you respect the scammers? Yeah, I, I respect, respect them. anybody that hustle. Okay. I respect anybody that get, get, get money out the, the, the flyway. Okay, yeah. so let me ask you this: Could you date a girl that was making money on OnlyFans? Wait, wait, say that again. What could you, 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 could you date a girl that was making money on OnlyFans? What do you mean, data? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, take it to the house, uh, Thanksgiving. If she put it where it's going, what she doing on OnlyFans? Is she with another man on her? She just doing her thing nah, on Nah, she her just own. playing with a pussy on her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I can fuck with that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. How come, one, how come one of y'all ain't settled down yet? Y'all, like, rejecting love or something right it's now? It's not that. It's not that, bro. It's like, I understand now what makes me happy. You know what I'm saying? Waking up to a woman every day, ain't that a happy nah, moment? Nah, man. A lot of modern women ain't, ain't with the, they not... You know, nah, I grew man. up in the household with my grandmother. My grandmother was a cook, clean, washed yeah, clothes, you don't washed see that. clothes. You don't see that too much. Look, when she was pissed, yeah. off my, pissed off at my grandfather, she waited till my grandfather get off from work, calm down. Calm down, drink his coffee, read his paper. Then she'll come to him and say, well, EJ, you know, and she won't come like, Oh yeah, we don't see that. With that, with that, with that masculine energy. Yeah, they gonna hit you at the door. Yeah, she know how to put her dick up. She, you know, so I think that's why, she lived, you know, that's why the relationship lasted longer. Y'all, women gotta learn to put your dick up. Put, your put dick it up. up. Damn. Put your dick up. Have you ever male ain't going for that, man? Well, could you date a girl that was making significantly more than you? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Like, like, um, would you? But you just still have to just like wear the like. You just gotta let me do my I'm thing. I'm gonna wear the pants. I don't care if I make a penny. She make a million dollars. Yeah, yeah. Cause you know why I'm gonna wear the pants? Because when the boogie man come in the house, you gotta get up tough, big money making ass behind me. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm dead serious. Oh no, God! If we upstairs in the bed sleep, and she hear noise, yeah, she not gonna say. Baby, get the kids and go hide. I'm gonna go see what's going on downstairs. So she gonna send my, she gonna send my duck down ass there. down there. <laughs> so you might have a pair of pants in that drawer or whatever, but I'll wear deep pants. I'm, right. I'm, I'm calling shots in here. Now, that doesn't mean your opinion is not valued. Right. Or if you have a better plan than I have, okay, let's go with that. Right. But for the most part, that's yeah, gonna have to go through me. Because my decisions aren't made up on, uh, based upon emotions. God damn. <laughs> Somebody gotta kill that roach. Hey, um, something <laughs> yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, from the 90s to right now, man, what would y'all say the biggest difference right now is in the Know Your uh, Projects right now, if it's even still a project? Now, what's the biggest difference from back then to right now with uh, the Magnolia? We'll take turns on that one. Well, in my opinion, I'd say it's less of a community than it was when we was there. And I'd say it's more killing and less money getting. So let's start with that first, less of a community. Uh, why you say that? Like, what, what you, what's the, Because when we was in the streets, everybody was outside. Everybody, the girls. Well, not be, everybody outside. The yeah. girls would be selling clothes right here. Somebody would be right here doing their thing. Somebody might be chilling right here, but it was community and we looked out for each other. It kind of makes sense to wake up and get outside. Yeah. Like, yeah. When I ride through there now, man, I ride through Magnolia. It's a ghost town. Like, okay. I ride through Magnolia, the Magnolia, not the bricks. It's the community. Yeah, yeah. it's the community. It's not the bricks. Yeah, it's not the Yeah, it's not the We've been, we been knowing each other 40 years, man. man yeah, you don't. Off and on. People don't have that. You, sometimes yeah. it's harder, you know, when you live that close in that kind of community, it's hard to leave from that. Right. So what do you feel about people, and we're gonna stay with the community part, what do you feel about people who do not, or who never left the Magnolia, never left the projects, never wanted to venture out? Y'all went to the Marines to venture out. I don't, I don't blame them, because everybody not meant to move how I move. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Some people are comfortable where they at, and that's fine. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, that's okay with me. But I'm a, I, by, by nature, I wanna go, everywhere I've been, I, I travel. Yeah, right. me too, I, city to city with me. Yeah, yeah, gotta see something new. Um, now you said uh, the, the killing is yeah. like, what, what speak on that as far as what's from back man, then? We, we I know it was bad back then. We it was the murder cap at one time. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the murder cap right now. Back, it was right back now. to it. Back yeah. to it. God, we desensitized to that man. Like we we was on the corner like watching this for Say man, like that corner where everybody had to be at. I'm talking about the DBs. You might have Mikey Mooney out here. You might got man man over here. You might got uh jerk and yeah. everybody out here. Yeah, will kill you. But see, let me just get let me get political one quick second. You know, I'm gonna get conscious too. Crime is a direct reflection of the educational system. Straight up, straight up. So when you go to Philadelphia, Baltimore, Compton, DC, New Orleans, DC, LA, South Central. This is a system. Yeah. This is a system. We can't stop blaming each other for this shit because poor people cannot create poverty. Poverty is a creative system. And self hate will make you say some shit like, it's us that's killing us. When I hear that, I know the vibration that people vibrate on because they don't understand that crime is committed in proximity of where you live. 
Yeah. Chinese people kill Chinese people. Straight up. White people kill white people. And black people kill white pe black people. But if you look up, <laughs> but black people kill black people. But, but if yeah. you look up the statistics, and I'm not just saying this because I'm trying to defend black people that, and, and, and white people kill each other at higher rates than what black people kill each other. They lead in domestic murders. They lead in pedophilia. They, they lead in, they lead in mass, shootings. Shootings. mass shootings. They lead in, in, in crimes. Gruesome, against, gruesome crimes. Yeah, like so, cutting people heads off. But you would never hear one of them say, it's us that's killing us. They'll never say that. Do you They'll never we, say that. The Mexican think, cartel, they line niggas up and chopping their heads off. Straight Mamas, up. Mamas, babies. You'll never hear Mexicans say, it's Mexican killing Mexicans. It's only black we people black say that. Black Are we just too hard on ourselves? They buy to the stereotypical shit that they hear. Right, right, right. You see what I'm saying? Right. You know how you can understand the level of systematic oppression. Right. And that's what this shit really is. It's systematic. It's set up a certain way. Some people overcome. Some people vibrate above it, but most people can't. And they forget sometimes. See, man, the streets ain't for everybody. Well, that's why they make sidewalks. You dig? Now, uh... Man, y'all touched on some great points because I always try to tell people there is no such thing as black on black crime. Exactly. It's only it's a crime. misnomer. Right. How do we undo that? What What are some of the steps y'all think we could begin to take to like start like healing from what we've been programmed knowledge to believe? Knowledge of self eliminates self hate. The problem knowledge, is self hate. Knowledge of self eliminates self hate. You have to know who you are, where you come from, where you're going. Put it like this: If I see you as my brother, right? It's not easy for me to grab a gun and rob you right. or kill you. Right. But if I see you as that nigga, Man, or, fuck or that, that's that my nigga. enemy, you know fuck what I'm that saying? Boy. Fuck that nigga. I'll kill that nigga. I'll blow his brains out. It's easy because you, what you do is you, you, you animalize a human being. You know what I'm saying? You animalize somebody that's a human just like you. So if I see you, see you as my brother, I can't rob you or kill you as easy. If I see this sister as my sister, she's not a bitch or a hoe. Or a slut, or because that's somebody, mama, sister, daughter, yeah. niece. Yeah. You have to look at it like that. But see, this systematic programming, mama, yeah. this systematic program and rhetoric that we hear and we repeat the shit. Yeah. Don't call nobody a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Is nigga in the English language? In the English language? You got damn right. Do they English? exist? Yes, they exist. Do niggas exist? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Don't call a girl a bitch. Do bitches okay. exist? Do bitches exist? Yes. Bitch ass niggas exist, don't they? Not all women are queens. Not all women. We you have, separate yeah, that. You want your crown? We'll give it to you. All men ain't king. Yeah, we gotta separate. Let's that. keep it real. You know. Who got the better coochie, queens or bitches? Oh, mm. oh damn. Ooh, ooh. God. Mm. God damn. Oh, I, I don't know, bro. Because it depends what they call themselves oh, at a the time. One. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like both of them. I ain't yeah. never had no bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool. Oh, I'm gonna make it good for me. What did he mean to say? Was queens are, are are young young women who don't know themselves. Oh, you know you my people that might say that. I don't call me no queen, the queen of woo woo woo, but we know what it means. <laughs> which 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 uh New Orleans projects had the best pussy? Oh, wow. Mm. Man. If I say that you get make know your girls mad at me. Yeah, so I can't see that. I, I can't see I ain't gonna lie, them cat little girls they bought their business though. Yeah. The St. Bernard too, they got the yellow bones in the yeah, Bernard. Yellow bones. That St. Thomas. The St. Thomas. St. Thomas. Yeah. Shit. See, we I, like I, messing with other girls from other projects. Yeah. Yeah. We like messing with other niggas from other projects. Yeah. That's just how they go. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's now, a good you, question, what, though. Wait, wait, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, uh, he, so he want to know. He might be visiting hey, some. Man, like, what you look, what, what, what y'all looking at right now? I'm going to be real with you, man. It's just like, I wouldn't say legendary killers, but what you looking at is legendary players, man. You know what I'm saying? So did y'all get into the pimp game? Huh? Y'all get into the pimp game? The what? Pimp, pimping. Say, you know oh, what? You know what? I'm going to just say this, the man. The feds so taking niggas to jail for human trafficking. Yeah. That's true. I they, seen don't, they don't want the hope. I seen it. Hope. I seen it happen firsthand. So Look, I would never man. say that on Instagram. But, but since we on this couch, I want to give a shout out to my partners who I ran into in different states and different places, man. H Bomb, uh, uh, SD for the feet, you dig? Uh, 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 Big Juke, Finesse, Finesse, Juke, Finesse mm -hmm. St. Q. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Man, it's a lot of free, uh, uh, Mr. Cool, man. You know what right. I'm saying? Do it do some, I, keep, keep it real. Do it do something to a nigga's self-esteem to have a woman hand a nigga some money. Well, how? I'm, I'm just saying in any capacity. It could, it could I, had, I had her some money. She thinks she feels some kind of way. I give her some money to do something? <laughs> hey, man, this is what you got to understand fashion? about that. I'm going to yeah. speak on that real quick and make yeah. it real brief. They got some women, the best hoes, professionals. Who love to go get money and bring it to their man? Yeah, yeah. yeah. People don't do. understand go, that, and you that's don't force okay. Nobody to go do that. It's all. It's, 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 it's not by force, man. It's always by choice. Let's just say you got a good working woman, right? Right. How much of that paycheck should she bring her man? 
What percentage? It depends on what our relationship is. Right. Put in that account. Put it in another account. Yeah. And take out a little something for your little pocket. Leave <laughs> that in another account. Leave yeah. that though. Because you got to understand, a lot of these strippers and these prostitutes, man, they don't know what to do with no money, man. Mm. They don't know what to do. They might well throw it in the furnace. If I seen a female mm. spend six thousand dollars on a weed. Yeah, I seen that too. I seen that too. Six thousand dollars on the weed look like look like something you get for twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. I so, think I think pimping is a, is a is a big misconception, man. People have that really fucked up. Like you you force somebody to do something. That's frowned upon upon people in the high echelon of the game. That's frowned upon when you when you force somebody to do something. Yeah, man. Nah, the pimp. ultimate finesse is when you move with your mouth. Your yeah. mouth do everything for you, man. That's yeah. biggest facts. That's biggest facts. Yeah. Now one thing I gotta have you say it because I don't want to get away from it. You said that there's more killing now in Magnolia. You feel? Well, that, more killing and no money getting. That's what oh, I said. Okay. No I see, money. Yo. It was always killing. So it was just reckless now. Like, like man, we just fuck it. Man, this man the tell internet. You, man. Yeah, the internet. internet. Women and kids yeah, was all blemish. You didn't get no strikes for that. Social media about to fuck the game up in the Social projects. Media, of, God, yeah. you had to really be like that in 3D. Mm, yeah. Right. Yeah, you know, understand. Couldn't slide that. through no crack. Now you can, you can go on social media, yeah. get you some tattoos, get you some jewelry, get you some locks, put some money by your ear, grab your gun. Somebody else sort of guards you a stepper. Yeah. All of that could be fake too. <laughs> you most can, of it is fake. Yeah, right. <laughs> most of it is the, fake. From the dress yeah. to the jewelry to the. Yeah. <laughs> most of it is fake. Most of it is. gonna tell on everybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was me in the car, such and such, such and such, but I didn't shoot. Yeah, I know you been dumb. Yeah. yeah. Nigga, for real. For real. <laughs> So y'all have a podcast yourself, man. Let's talk about that, man. Cause uh, you know, you know, I've been checking it out, you know, and I think it's dope, man. Shout out to Ray Report, man. They really do a good job of breaking Billy down. Wayne, that's my dude. Yeah, Billy yeah, he, yeah. He, they do a great job of just breaking down the scene, you know. And I think uh, more scenes need to do that because it's almost like they they help y'all tell the story in a way that where everybody it's like a storyline, damn near. You know right, what I mean? Right. People got mad at us for telling our stories, man. Yeah. And, and let's talk about that. Why do? Why is that? Why do you think that is? Because them punk ass niggas ain't got no story to tell. Right? Yeah. That's to be honest with you, to be honest with you, you understand, sir, bro. These guys right here, you looking at, bro. You have some guys who moved away forever. You got some guys who went did long bids. Some guys who was making money doing music. We never left the trenches. That's why we got all these stories to tell. We was in the trenches the whole time. Man, you understand that's what right. I'm saying? Damn. But now, is that a pride thing to not leave the trenches? though? No, it's not. It's not okay. a pride. It was thing. ignorance. Foolish. Okay. It was ignorance. To be honest with you, but you have to think. If you hustle for so long, you don't. Let me, let me yeah, make clear that. Go when we say in the trenches, we don't mean stuck in the trench. Yeah. Okay. Tapped in. Yeah. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. We mean tapped in. Gotcha. I mean, we, we living still, though. Yeah, we still. Yeah. We're not on private jets. So we not, you know, we still. We're not superstars or, or none of that right there. Right we just, now, I go to work on these bird legs. Yeah, man. I get my to go to work. Yeah. yeah. Ain't no shame in that. For y'all podcast, man, the things that y'all telling, the stories that y'all telling, man, it's epic, man. One story I want to kind of get from y'all because it, you know, goes with Dallas. Is that we did have a situation where a guy had went at you know like seven cops you know shot him killed him mm-hmm. forgot a few years ago um, you know they ended up killing him uh, you guys were part of that uh, what he what he was on yeah. um, uh, I forget I forgot the, the name of it um yeah uh, he was RBG oh, yeah, yeah. gangster exactly yeah. so were y'all planning to come to Dallas that day were y'all when y'all seen what's going on, were y'all doing your own thing in your own section? Like we were living in Houston. Yeah. We yeah. were part of an uh, organization called Houston Unity Tribe. Yeah. And anytime, you know, something like that happens, we go into that city. To we go and stand with stand with our people, support our people. Yeah. We wasn't with no protesting. No. We're not gonna be that. walking up to my don't step on my feet. You know what you're doing. We're not protesting yeah. no more. Yeah. Yeah. Look, Black Lives Matter. I ain't gotta explain it. Why should I just explain to you that Black Lives Matter? Right. I, I should have to explain that to you. You know what that's like? Let me give you an example of what I mean. If we all live on the same street. And my house on fire, right? And I run up my house and say, hey, hey man, my house burning down, my house on fire. And your stupid racist bitch ass gonna say, what about my house? What about all, everybody, all houses all matter? All houses matter. No, I'm talking about the house that's on fire. Saying, your house ain't on fire. Yeah. You know I'm a saying? house on fire. I want people getting killed on camera and, and, and people beating that shit. So that was that was about. It wasn't about you know, who started it. That's a good and none of that. You know what I'm saying? Be weary of black people who said all lives matter when we scream black lives matter. Even though I'm not with black lives matter, reminding you that my life matter, I understand that some people, like, it's like this. Let me give y'all an introspect on Martin Luther King and, and Malcolm X. Yeah. When I first got into, into consciousness, man, I was angry. So I was like, fuck Martin Luther King, man. I'm a he's Malcolm soft. X and my He was he peace. Soft. He was peace. But at the same time, as I got older and I matured, I understood that he fought what he the way that he thought was conducive to our people. Yeah. Not now, just that. Martin Luther King went to jail 200 some odd times. He got busted in the head with he bricks. He got busted in the head with bricks. Spit on. Man got half his head shot off with a deer rifle. And his mama. Turned the other cheek. And, and his, his mama. mama. This is the thing, though. 
All this happened to Martin Luther King why niggas saying he wasn't shit and he didn't do nothing. He was weak and soft. Look what he went through, bro. Look what he went through. Uh, yeah, not, he, yeah, ste- no, he stepped no, into no, the lion's no, den. He stepped into the see, fight. But look what he went through, though. Look and what he and went that's through. true, because he was front line. And you'll have, and you'll have black people man, condemning man, him. You, right. you, you, I did that one time until I got more mature and I understood. The man walked from self. How many miles he walked? Best, I mean, with shoes, hard, church shoes on? Now, I'm, I'm still more in the shoes of Colin Muhammad and, and Malcolm X, Fred Hampton and... But I understand that some people, that's the way they're going to fight. You can't dismuggle the king We like got that. fire in our spirit. You can't dismuggle the king We like warriors. That. We the proletariat revolutionaries. He paid that price, bro. Uh-huh. He paid that price. So war and violence is, is something that we are familiar with. So the Haitian blood. Those are the revolutionaries that we're going to, you know, we're going to side with the ones who, who, who want to, you know, want to fight back. Yeah. I have a question because um, I've had this debate with individuals who mm-hmm. I felt like they was not knowledgeable, but they felt like since Martin Luther King cheated on his wife, that took away from his legacy and what oh, he used to do. Oh, man. Fuck out of here, man. Who? Only a simple say some shit like that. <laughs> Come on, man. What they got to do with him fighting for freedom? Yeah. Where he put his penis at? What the fuck yeah. they got to do with him fighting for freedom? I don't even worry about what no man hey, put his I, dick that's at. That's what I thought. They got to do with his <laughs> I don't care what right. no man put his dick at. Yeah. Is it a more of your marriage? Maybe so. Oh, well. Fuck. Yeah. You know? I think his impact he left was greater than that. See, man, at the end of the day, man, even if you say that, you have to remember he got spit on, got hit in the head with bricks, got arrested. I know they whooped his ass a whole bunch of times. Yeah. I know they whooped his ass a whole bunch of times. He got his head blown off and his mother got her head blown off in church too. Yeah. Well, your mom asked you got you got some. How many times you been to jail for black people? Yeah, so you got, you got to put that into perspective, man. Two hundred and sixty like, real. Times? When you when you mature, you just start to look at things a little differently. You know what I mean? A lot of people feel like um we should begin to police our own communities. Definitely. Definitely. I agree That's how we got the name for our rap, Magnolia Militia. Mm-hmm. Okay. Explain a little, give us a little insight on that. A militia is a small group of citizens trained for warfare any other emergency. So when we, we came first came into consciousness, we was angry. We was angry. Like most people that first come into consciousness. You're angry at first. And then you learn and you read and you learn more. And when I learned, okay. they lied to us about religion. They lied to us about politics. Mm-hmm. They lied to us about our origin. Yep. Like, for, for, until I got to be a man, I thought that we came from the bush mm. with bones in our noses and spears. And, you know, I didn't know nothing about that we had great universities and we had temples and, temples and we had monolithic books. structures and you we know, were doing science, high science, astrology, and, and chemistry. mathematics, and writing came from over there. You know what I'm saying? And all of that. My biggest so facts, guys. I felt better about that once I learned about our history. Not as a self, eliminate self hate. You don't hate yourself as much if you understand you came from greatness. Right. There you go, man. And they can get a lot of this knowledge, man, on uh, on y'all's podcast. I want y'all to be able to uh, individually tell them how to follow y'all and also tell them about the podcast and what y'all got going. Uh, Jerga, man, if you got any businesses up, if you, you know, restarted the the, the restaurant or a club <laughs> or something, if you want it, if you want to yeah, yeah, whatever you got, whatever, I want y'all to promote what y'all got going I'm on just in case. Ass. I'm in the filming, man. I'm writing some script for I like the that. series I'm working on. Oh, you trying to get your 50 cent on? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's We're a lot, working on that. A lot of stories yeah. to tell. <laughs> a lot of stories to tell, my yeah, nigga. Yeah, I'm excited yeah. about that. Believe yeah. that. I'm excited about that. What y'all got as far as uh, how to follow y'all, uh, the uh, the podcast? Tell them how to, you know, make sure okay, they see the tweets. You can follow us on Instagram at Think Twice Podcast. Mm-hmm. The twice is spelled with a two. Think yep. Twice, the twice is spelled with a two. Podcast. Podcast. Like and subscribe to the channel, man. And yeah, our Instagram is Shadon Matern and Kareem Matern. Shadon. Oh, Jericho, man, the GOAT. Also, we have a dating game, like Date the Twins. Yeah. Ooh. We're working on it right now. It's coming. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna be a show though, right? right now we for casting twins. right now. We twins. casting right now for twins. And so single we, ladies too. Yeah. We like twins, but whoever will come and we find you attractive, we think yeah. you can get in the show, you get in yeah. when you fit in. Wait, wait, y'all trying to date other women twins? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. I, yeah. I didn't yeah. catch on to that. That'd part. be dope, wouldn't it? Oh, that'd that's dope. dope. Yeah, that's dope. That's very dope. Very dope, man. That's, yeah, date yeah. the twins, man. Yeah, that, that, they show the difference between me and him. I might call a woman different than we mean. Yeah, exactly. I can play all kind of. We may do things, we do definitely do things different. That's actually one of the dopest concepts I heard. In a long time, I can't wait to watch Zeus. Uh, y'all be on y'all shit. Zeus, um, TMC, whoever one, whoever yeah, whatever, whatever, yeah. somebody, yeah. Whoever, got, whoever got the bag, whoever got the bag. Yeah. Um, any shout outs y'all want to give? Shout okay. out to the Magnolia. Shout out to the Magnolia. First and foremost, shout out to the Mag, man. Mag, shout out to the Cali. Yo, shout out to the Melf. Shout out to the Saint Thomas. Thomas. Shout out downtown, to everything downtown. in between. You know what I'm saying? I want to shout out my boy Killer Clay from uh, Desire and Galvis. That's my dog. Real. I want to shout out Sleepy's Poor Boys. Sleepy Poor Boys. Nola Dakaris. And you know Nola Dakaris. Oh, what, 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 Rusty got a uh, got a wing spot. I, I forget Rusty, but Rusty Juvenile partner have a wing spot in Houston now. I forget the name of it. Yo, look at y'all. Up. Check Rusty out, man. Y'all, I had the name of it when y'all hit, hit me up. 
All right, definitely, man. It's, it's crazy because there's so many stories within this. I know we're just scratching the surface, but we want to get an introduction interview first and foremost. To, but we're going to definitely have y'all back definitely. because it's so much more meat to this uh, goddamn yeah. meal we got to go it through. Is. But yeah. for that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all didn't put y'all work in, so we ain't got to say it right now, man. Y'all are some real life street stars, man. Magnolia Twins okay. in the building, man. Gentlemen, let's get did, it, did baby. We out, did we shout out the other guys that got podcasts that we deal yeah. with? I want to shout those guys out too, man. Uh, go. Uh, Johnny Boot, Magnolia Johnny Boot. Uh, Slum Twelve Hundred, uh, uh, Marcelo and, and, and G. G is a, is the guy. He, that's his co-host that we learned a lot from in the streets. Right, a yeah. lot in the game. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, of course, to the Cap of the Cap podcast. Right, Terrence. Shout you know out. what I'm saying? Shout no out. rap podcast. No rap yeah. podcast. Uh, Queen Prince. Whoever else doing their thing, man. Oh, Kelly O Chill and Inside Source, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kelly O Chill shaking back. You know what I'm saying? That's my dude. I grew up with him too. There you go, man. Well, mm-hmm. Godspeed, man. We definitely appreciate y'all having, man. We out. Thank you. Huh.